Hi, today I'm going to review a toy that is actually pretty rare and it's in the Uchiman Nexus series. This toy is actually a pretty rare toy and I haven't found that many reviews of this toy until now. So now I'll show you the monster, La Flea from Uchiman Nexus. So, um, yeah, this, this, um, Kaiju's history, um, is actually, uh, it first appeared in, in Uchiman Nexus, episode 9, called Warning, and finally appeared in Uchiman Nexus, episode 10, Strike Formation. So, um, the story on this creature is that, um, three men were actually stranded in the forest, until some unknown yellow gas appeared and choked them to death. As Uchiman Nexus's human host went to investigate, he found that the victims were obliterated except their clothes. Suddenly, Doc Faust, which is actually, which actually controls La Flea, up, um, appeared and released La Flea. And then that's when Uchiman Nexus host turned into each man nexus and then arrived and beat the flea two times which actually completes the history of both of the episodes now we go to detail so detail on this toy is actually pretty nice the f the main uh, the flower face looks pretty good with all those scales and bumps and including the face where it shoots um the gas also, his back kind of looks like a brain, and I like, you know, that squishy effect that it looks like, and, you know, it looks very realistic, and the spiky blue spikes on top of its back, and then the legs have nothing except, you know, just wording of, you know, the toy and stuff like that, and then, you know, the back look actually pretty good as, like, spikes protruding out its back. You know, it just looks like an alien looking, and then it has has two tails, just like King Ghidorah, and then you see all those roots around it and stuff like that. Okay, now into articulation. First of all, his uh, flower face can rotate 360, and um, also both of his arms can also rotate 360. But I won't recommend it, because... It has spikes like on the shoulders and it can actually actually scratch the figure. Now into superpowers. Um, one of LaFleur's powers is that it can burrow, but it can actually burrow at low speeds. So it burrows kind of like Gomez. And now um, its main weapon is a, a carbonizing gas. And what it does is that um, it actually um, dissolves human human f flesh within mere hours. And this gas is actually very explosive. Okay, now into sizing. First, I will size him up with my Godzilla, my favorite kaiju, Godzilla. And my favorite costume, Godzilla Final Wars. So yeah, this is actually good sizing. Even though Godzilla is 50 meters, and La Flea is actually 55 meters, so La Flea should be a, l a tiny bit bigger. But it's alright sizing. Now I'm gonna compare it with the Gamma Monster, Showa Gaios. And yeah, this is actually a pretty good sizing, and they actually um, make a good match. Okay, now I'll present one more, and this is actually my favorite Godzilla villain monster, Orga. So yeah, this is actually a pretty good sizing. I think. No, this is actually pretty good sizing, yeah. So yeah, that's all for sizing. And now into rarity. This toy is actually pretty rare. I actually found it on eBay for $35, which is actually a pretty big steal. I, I went to eBay and I searched him, and um, there was only three results. And there was one like for $75, so yeah. there This one's very rare. But fortunately, I got mine for, you know, a decent price. So, if you ever see him, like, for a low price, like, a low price, then I, then I recommend him getting him. But 
that's no higher than forty than forty dollars. So yeah, so that's all. So I give this toy a four out of five because um, I wanted maybe some tail articulation or like you know some feet articulation or something. But you know it's all right. So yeah, remember to subscribe to my channel and yeah check other reviews. So yeah, thank you and. This is Methodopoda signing out.